Hello and welcome to sunny Spain. Here we are at Almeria. I'm Michael Mann for Bike Social. And today I get to be a lucky, lucky man because there's not many people outside the World Superbike and MotoGP paddock who have ridden anything as quite as extraordinary as what I get to do today. Yeah, it's the BMW HP4 race. Christian, we're here with this magnificent motorcycle. It looks spectacular, the HP4 race. Um, you must be so, so proud with the project, but it looks a lot like the S1000RR from a silhouette perspective, but, but talk to me about these components, because actually it's, this, it's almost nothing like an S1000, right? 100% correct. Uh, it looks from 10 meters away like an updated double R, but at the end uh, you can start at the front wheel, uh, ending at the rear. It's a complete different bike. Uh, the whole bike package is more or less Superbike World uh, Specification standard. This means you're starting with slick tires, uh, go to the front fork, FGR 300 by Erlins, uh, then you, you look on the calipers, MotoGP, uh, rain calipers from Brembo, GP4 PR for professional racing. When you say rain, you mean that's, they're the calipers they use when In it is rain? In rain, yeah, Simple correctly. Ah. Otherwise, if they use carbon fiber brake discs, they also have a different caliper. But if they are running in rain conditions, sure. they run the same uh, disc type, T-type by Brembo, and they use this caliper. So. Also, the front end is like a World Superbike or even MotoGP standard, and you go up to the triple clamp, 100% machine, CNC, uh, hollow part. It's really a piece of art if you can look at it as a single part. Uh, then finally reaching uh, the frame for sure. Uh, the most uh, obvious innovation in this bike, yeah. carbon fiber, one piece. Then you come to the swing arm and the rear package, uh, TTX, GP, Erlins uh, suspension, Zuta racing swing arm, carbon fiber wheels, again Brembo in the rear. So the whole chassis is 100% new compared to double R. And you can go on this in every other uh, area, mm -hmm. engine, electronic, fairing, whatever you're interested in. So two of the big numbers here um, that we're gonna concentrate on are 215 horsepower. Correct. And a fully loaded, fully wet weight of 171 kilograms, which That's is correct. lower than a World Superbike. Definitely. it's. Uh, just eight kilo less than World Superbike, and uh, just uh, three kilo more than MotoGP. Because uh, you compare in uh, FIM homologated race uh, uh, sessions, you said Park Femme weight, yeah. and MotoGP stops in the Park Femme with uh, 157. This one stops with 160 kilogram, and World Superbike must uh, be minimum weight 168. So eight kilo less than World Superbike, but all the rest of the components are equal. So you can get a feeling or a perspective of the performance but this uh, mainframe is uh, done in a mold yeah like a casted or forged part more or less and it's just so one piece yeah it's one piece it's the biggest uh, piece BMW ever did because when you even compare a frame from a K1600 six cylinder bike it's uh, done of several casted parts welded and together welded together yeah but this piece you grab out of the mold as a one single piece and uh, the same with the wheels also uh, extremely the low wheels weight. must be lighter than the actual tires that are on them you can say it like this, yeah, especially in the rear. There's some stunning technology on this. Um, what about the electronics? There's uh, everything sort of fully adaptable. There's four rider modes, correct? Correct. You have four modes and fully adaptable is uh, the story of the whole bike. Not only the electronic, also the suspension for sure. It's standard and also the ergonomics. Everything can be adjusted to the uh, rider skills or to the track uh, stuff which is demanding. And you can make the bike um, there's some other parts to the motorcycle that you can make to, to your own specification, right? With the, with the rear sets, with the seat height, or even with the rake. You can change the electronics uh, with the Race Calibration Kit Pro, uh, which you can adapt to the computer. You are connected under the seat. Just uh, connect the bike with your computer and change the parameters you need. Uh, the electronic is uh, also known from World Superbike. It's the same package mm. which was sold uh, one year ago for 8,000 euro because it's the official price of World Superbike for the whole electronic package, the ECU, dash, and uh, wiring loom, button units, you get uh, 
audible traction control by ignition cut. So it's not like flashlight from the double R. You hear it when you you're riding it. and you can concentrate on the exit of the corner and not on the lights in the dash. As you're feeding the power and coming onto the main straight, the thing's lighting for the rear <laughs> going brrrr. It's really quite a good. Yeah, funny noise. And uh, might we see this kind of technology, especially with the, the carbon fiber frame in, in, in production models in the future? Uh, BMW wouldn't do something like this just for to make one showpiece. Uh, we wanted to show that we are able to use this technology in, let me say, mass production. Yeah. For sure, 750 units is not mass production, but uh, you can grab it as one piece. So we are ready to use this technology for frame, for wheels, so you can imagine any other parts and for sure any other mo model. Otherwise, it would not make sense just wasting money and do funny things. We will look forward to uh, seeing what is up the sleeves of BMW's arms soon. Kristen, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye. I don't know how many superlatives there are in the Oxford English Dictionary, but using every single one of them still wouldn't do this bike justice. It really is a sensation. And while it might look like a, a Sazen RR, and the Sazen RR is, is a phenomenal bike and I'm a big fan of it, um, this just takes it to a whole different level. It's, a, it's an absolute sensation. From the moment you get on it, you just feel like you belong in it, on it, with it. The seating position is, is really quite roomy. I mean, it, it, at six foot tall, I can say that it is quite roomy. It's wide bars, a lower seat option is a higher seat option. The rear sets are adjustable. Everything seems to be adjustable to make it the perfect fit. It's a wonderful, wonderful creature. It's a work of art. And, and just to be able to ride it, just to have one day on it, is one of those life goals ticked. Yeah, 68,000 pounds is a lot of money and people will just automatically look at that price tag and think, it's not for me or it's utterly ridiculous. But then when you start to break down all the individual components and the fact that it's, it's so light, it's got so much power, uh, it starts making sense. You start thinking about those individual components, you know, those Olin's forks, those Brembo brake calipers, the carbon frame, the, the Pirelli rubber, you take all of those components and you think about the, the technology and the development and the advancement of, of everything that goes into that carbon frame, for example, the power, the weight, all of those electronics taking everything into account and all of a sudden you've got you know a world superbike spec motorcycle which is an absolute sensation to ride um, if there's one thing you're going to do in your life please please have a go on one of these uh, and i i i well no, i'm going to refer you to bikesocial.co.uk for the full review